What's up, y'all? Ha ha ha! Finally doing this. <laughs> hey, welcome to my channel, guys. This is my first ever video, and it's a get to know me tag. Um, so yeah, I did the Q and A. Um, don't don't I'm like I don't know what to call it, but on Instagram, and yeah, I asked people to ask me questions on what like they'd like to know about me and stuff like that. And please don't mind my voice. It's weekend things. I had flu, so I don't do a weekend. But I had flu, hence my voice is like this. But I hope it's not too bad. And yes, this is my room. Guys, it's a resi. Please don't charge. Okay, thank you. So I, I wrote the questions down because I'm using my phone to film this. So if I keep looking here, don't mind me. Anyway, <clears throat> So I have like 23 questions that I'm going to be answering. And I selected these because I felt like this is a nice ballet clear that you guys should know about. Um, so yeah, I might answer some in uh, like in the future. I don't know. But anyway, so let's get right into it. Uh, what is your full name? My full name is Uli Lukoshem Kamdeni. I don't have an English name. I don't have a middle name. Um, yeah, but I have a lot of nicknames because it kind of felt like I was the clown that he joke. Well, I feel like I was the favorite Muzukulwana at the time because the age gap between myself and my brother is 10 years and as well as my cousins. So I feel like that figure at the right time, you know, so everyone literally had a name to call me. How old are you? I am very old. Like I'm very old, guys. You know, thinking back that I wanted to be old so much growing up, but now Zana, like life is just slapping me left to right and saying I'm 22 and I turned 22 on the 3rd of July. Where are you from? I'm from Mtata Ebongweni. That's where I grew up. Well, that's on the Kulekohana. Then I moved to Ebongweni, but I've been in Mtata all my life. Only moved to PE for my first year, which is my university years. And um, yeah, so basically it was Mtata, but yeah. Why is that a YouTube channel? Well, guys, ne, you don't know about Uspokas and Omi, Shali, no Mubushi, how much they persuaded me to finally do this. Oh, gonna sit, okay, guys, I'm gonna do it. Like, I'm gonna do it. And um, I started a YouTube channel basically because... I think I like the interaction between myself and you guys, obviously. And it's about the, the moolah. Like, I, I think I can make a career out of it. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm a big dreamer. <laughs> so, yes. What will be different in 2020? Honestly, 2020. I feel like who you can be guys. Honestly, I feel like who you can be guys. Everyone is doing something literally. Unga said about how to drink wines. Someone will show you how to drink wines, how to enjoy, do, 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 do. like you know. So I'm not gonna lie and say I'm gonna do anything different. I'm just gonna do it differently. That is, do it my way. Yeah, bo. And um, yeah, I honestly feel like a YouTube, a, a YouTube channel is unique because of the owner. You know, you don't like a YouTube channel because someone is doing something different. People are always doing something. Other people, a lot of people actually that I follow um, are doing makeup, they vlog. So, yeah, many lot. Um, next question is, <clears throat> are you in a relationship? My mother might be watching this. Mm, by the way, guys, this is juice. This is red berries. It's not wines, mom. This is not wines. Am I in a relationship? Guy's name? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I mean, you know, guys, you might think you're in a relationship, but you're in the relationship alone. And, uh, yeah, sometimes I feel like it's too soon to tell, you know? So, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> No, yeah, I'm maybe I'm not. Depends on my mood. Um, what are you doing? I'm a student. I'm studying become economics at the Nelson Mandela University. What's your star sign? I'm a Cancer. I'm a cry baby. I was born on the third of July, so I think a Cancer is color on the twenty second of June to the twenty second of July. Uh, so yeah, I'm a cry baby. Do you Cancer? Biggest fear besides snakes. 
water, fires, lifts. They are weekly lift guys. Like I'm that girl. Um, I think losing myself whilst loving someone else. I think that's my biggest fear. Uti, what would you change about yourself if you could? I think I'd change... What would I change? Ma'amkaba. That's the only thing I'd change. Because I, 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 I always used to think that I would change my heart. Because I feel like people, especially friends, always take advantage of the good heart that I have. So I would probably change... Eh, hey, guys, mkabas are like, mkaba makes life so uncomfortable and so complicated. Like, there's a lot of things that I feel like it, if many and I'm kaba, I would rock them. And it's not just a rock, okay? But it's not a won't let me be. So mkaba. So, what's a dough breaker for you? Okay, I'm going to assume this is both in relationships and friendships. And I feel like what I'm about to say applies to both. Um, honesty, transparency. I feel like relationships or relations or ships, quantum ship man, like relationship, friendship, family ship, younger London. If it's built on transparency, it's bound to grow into something very beautiful. And also, like communication, guys. I'm not saying if this is home, like let's talk every day, but like the assurance that like they are tan, but I don't care. I mean, so anyway. And also, I think it's because I give too much, and I always expect that, like, Sarah, guys, please don't mind me. I'm just telling you, Noel. Okay, uh, and then, oh, I was saying transparency, and oh, I beg, so what's a dope breaker? Dope breaker is someone who's not honest, who's not transparent, and if there's no rep in don't. Listen, dude. Yeah, you sound like oh, George. Anyway, if like are we boys, let on the It must be a give and give. Son, it must not be a give only. No. Um. Next question is, why are you dating new person every day, guys? Like, come on. Call anyone you date different people every day means there is no one. Literally, I just like like that time click is like uh, not that time click is but I just Jay guys like Andy Jolie na like Andy Jolie. So whenever I talk, cause sometimes then I remember this one time I was dating this guy and I kept tweeting that men are trusted. I was chilling with him and everything was fine. So I could be lying on the niggas' chest and be tweeting men are trash, babes. So yes, but anyway, why am I dating different guys? A, a different person every day because there is no person. Aha! Oh, and the same player. People who know me and who go to enemy with me know that and you call them and I'm like they will talk a number. You can be like this sometimes. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. <laughs> Anyway, it's he, what's your type? What's my type? What's my type? I think trash is my type. Anyway, I like trash. But also, here's my thing. I say that I want someone who's going to be this way. Okay, I want a guy who's going to like have a sense of humor, who's going to be smart, who's going to be... But I realize that I'm asking for a different guy. Like, so one of the reasons why I'm doing my choice is because I don't know my type. So, yeah, and I think I attract trash. Sorry, guys, but like, I understand almost. Next question is proudest accomplishment. Proudest accomplishment. I think how far I've come, I'm very proud of myself, even for the little steps and achievements that I make in my life. Like, Yonando, I'm very proud about and proud of i don't know but anyway uh, well, i know that what i've survived someone else wouldn't have survived it and didn't survive it and i'm basically just very proud of myself and yes how i handle situations if you could travel back in time which year would you go back to and why yo 2018 yo asana what a year Nick, this is a new
what a year oh guys 2018 took a lot like did i remember when it was new year's she says some goes in a car get on the 31st or can we always celebrate the like the crossover it's our win so when i was in church hey guys like when we had to be i was just like god 2019 be the year of restoration because Usarana took so much away from me in 2018. Not only people, but a lot of things, opportunities. Yeah, uh, 2018 was just a lot, guys. So if I could go, go back to 2018, I think the one thing that I'd go back to 2018 for would be, yeah, man, like to say goodbye to people who passed on and to do things differently but at the same time i don't regret the way i did them because i'm here today and defunded from those situations so i feel like anyway i could go back to 2018 but at the same time it's fine like it's whatever like it's yeah more like the cotillion app you know what i mean so yeah um uh, listen you make a lot of friends anyway you make a lot of friends how do you do it i don't have a lot of friends i honestly have a very small circle of friends but i just know people and you know even can be i don't know about what long to go wrote this question but anyway if we was in tata they'd say that i have a lot of friends but i don't i feel like because everyone knows everyone you know what i mean so yeah and i went to one of the most famous universities your famous high schools so yeah and then if we say if we say bye i think i just they are time to tater so that's why and if you know to sound like the same it's a best gift so what has been the best gift so far what has been the best gift so far i feel like quite gifty guys that i get most it comes from the heart if you if you phone you honestly you wouldn't have bought it for me so Whatever gift that I've got in my life has been a great gift and I really cherish it. Honestly, I feel like nature is a man. Because I remember I man all my life and God tell you gift and God man design to no lender. Ukubana guys, there are people who buy a gift for you. Go to your eyes by you know, can't always mean to sell a gift. So yeah, I'm very I'm I'm very thankful for all the gifts that I've gotten in my life. And I'm very grateful for life. I feel like life is the greatest gift yeah it is craziest thing you have done for love and you clown as an attack and you clown i mean it clowns isn't the bonnie pass and and it'll leave the chat i don't do that no and you don't know guys i don't force things i if vibes when i pick up vibes whether it's with a friend or with someone that i'm dating or i'm talking to or even a family member. If I pick up vibes, it's like daily chat. I don't force things. And I was Nalanma, if we're meant to be together, you're gonna bounce back in my life and things are gonna work out. So if we're in don't come as big talent, no, like I'm gone. Introvert or extrovert? I think I'm an extrovert. Yeah, I'm an extrovert. How was, oh, who was your favorite teacher at school? I'm going to assume this is high school. In high school, my favorite teacher was Mr. Mamaza. He taught me history and languages. And, um, yeah, my principal, Miss Matthews, and I love them so much. When was your first heartbreak? I don't think my heart has ever been broken, honestly. Because, okay, guys, let me break this down for you. I don't have a lot of exes. I don't do dating. I, I think when you've been single for too long, um, I don't need this. Like, I'm good. Like, but at the same time, you crave that thing about we are tanned or and someone to show you off and stuff like that and to just share your life with someone else. You know what I mean? But um, getting to the actual umjol or no, and like, and, and quasi, I think at the same time, though, you got to be vulnerable and for someone else to hold my heart like this then if they decide no they can drop it anytime man, 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 this yo that gender don't trust them where do you see yourself in 10 years son hmm, hmm, hmm. i see myself guys wow like 
I'm gonna do so much. You guys better remember this face. There's so much I wanna do. I wanna be on TV. I love acting. I love uh, singing, but I can't sing. Can't even hold a note. Um, I love presenting. I love writing. So I'm probably gonna be in production, TV production. That is be behind the scenes or on the screen. And I'm, I'm just gonna do a lot, guys. Like in the lindy popanga, my mom and Are you okay? Did you miss? I'm a big, big dreamer. Lindo is a big, big, big dreamer. So yes, guys, I, 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 there's a lot that I want to do. And yeah. Do you miss anything or anyone? That's the last question. Great. Do you miss anything or anyone right now? Anything. Then anyone. I think I miss my sister more than anything. Anyway, and I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again because then I can. Anyway, I miss my sister, and um, she died last year, 2018, on the 7th of August. So this month is just a constant reminder about that. I won't go, guys. Like, I was losing my mind, and then the go whenever they played a song, even at the club, a song that reminded me of her, her son, and Kuala Lo week. I am going home. Like I can't do this. Like nani kwa nani kwa. And I'm not the type to vent to my mom and my dad anyway. So I shadow yam. I'm not is on the is. You look as. Go to a crush yako. Looks at your eyebrows. Ne cherry yaki bad shake about it. Hmm hmm. This clown. Anyway, so my sister died in August, and she's the one person that I feel like I miss the most. But it gets better with time. Like go go away, go go away because I'm going to the last year. So now I'm done. Uza go away, go go away, go go away. Hi there. Everybody, guys, say questions. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below, and just tell me what you'd like to see me do next on my videos. Yes. And yes, please share also and please ring the bell so that's an obey notification gang. Anyway, thank you guys for borrowing your ears and your time and for being patient. Because I've created this channel for like I think two months. Mm -hmm. It's been two months. Oh, when does it have the damn balls, girl, and just upload the damn video? But so no, oh girl, no, so. Finally, I did it, and I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so please, guys, just tell me also, bye. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll meet next time. Same place, same time. <laughs> bye.